concept of free will is not an illusion. What if there is a way to prove its existence? Let's embark on an intellectual journey to explore this possibility. The first step is to establish the existence of will, the inherent urge to act. Observations of human behavior from the earliest stages of life confirm this. The child instinctively moves to explore the world. The adult feels the need to do something. These actions illustrate the presence of a will or urge to act. Even machines can be programmed to mimic this behavior, moving as soon as they are powered on, similar to how a toddler instinctively moves upon awakening. The existence of this will or urge is a small component of free will. Moving on to the second step, it's essential to demonstrate freedom from external restraints. This is trivial and means that at least some of our potential alternative choices or decisions should meet no external constraints for execution. This freedom to act, unimpeded by external factors, is another small element of our free will. The third and most challenging step is to demonstrate a non-predetermined, non-random, purposeful algorithm for decision-making. This algorithm must enable us to make choices freely, without coercion, while also being neither strictly causally predetermined nor random. One potential candidate for such an algorithm is the evolutionary or genetic algorithm, widely known in computer science and biology. This algorithm can generate adaptive and novel outputs with purposefulness determined by a target function. Even though this algorithm incorporates random mutations, the results are not random. Instead, they are purposeful defined by the fitness function used. This algorithm can potentially operate within human decision-making processes, producing decisions that are adaptive but neither strictly predetermined nor random. In other words, the decisions made through this algorithm are not mere spontaneous reactions, but purposeful actions. This is critical for the existence of free will, strengthening the case. In summary, the possibility of free will can be demonstrated by establishing the existence of will, proving freedom from external restraints, and identifying a non-predetermined, non-random, purposeful algorithm for decision-making. This three-step approach provides a compelling argument that supports the existence of free will, a concept that has intrigued philosophers, scientists, and thinkers for centuries. So, as we navigate through our daily lives making decisions big and small, let's remember, we are not merely responding to predetermined or random stimuli, but exercising our free will. We invite you to further explore this fascinating concept 